Today's microprocessors have more than one billion transistors. For instance, there are over two billion transistors in an iPhone 6. 22 nanometers is the size of the smallest transistors in use today. Once they get much smaller than that, the quantum effects of particle behavior present some unique engineering challenges. Will single atom transistors inside quantum devices mean the end of Moore's law? But if we can harness quantum computing, not just using quantum physics to build a device that ultimately does its calculations in a classical framework, but if you can actually do the calculations themselves in a quantum formalism, then the power, your computing power will grow exponentially compared to anything we have today. And that is hard to imagine where that might take us. We are approaching the physical limits of Moore's law. Below that is the frontier, the quantum scale where wave-particle duality can be used to our advantage. Researchers are now developing quantum computers that can harness some of the stranger behaviors of particles on the subatomic level. Superposition, the overlapping of particle wave states. And entanglement, where linked particles continue to interact with each other even at great distances. In quantum computing, particles are neither one nor zeros of the traditional binary code. But instead, these qubits, as they're called, can be one, zero, or both values simultaneously. This means a quantum computer could calculate all possibilities simultaneously, allowing it to process a much greater amount of calculations per second. <laughs> 